Do you find it hard to draw skin texture? Drawing skin texture is definitely one of the most important themes for portrait artists. In this video, I'm going to show you what I did to draw the skin texture in this portrait of Denzel Washington. Hello, my name is Matheus Macedo and I'm specialized in realistic drawing. If you're curious about how I draw skin texture, give this video a thumbs up. This piece was done in mixed media, which is I mixed graphite and charcoal, and luckily I'm very happy with the result. So let's take a look on the process I followed to draw this skin texture. The texture since the beginning looked very challenging, and in fact that was the reason I chose to draw it. Lately, I had been doing more simple drawings and there is nothing wrong with that. But if you don't challenge yourself, you won't improve as an artist. I know it sounds like a cliche, but it, it's important to step out of the comfort zone sometimes. Even before starting to draw, I asked myself, should I draw this skin texture using only graphite or should I use charcoal? And why not mixing both? I started out this piece by the background and the hair. In both areas I used charcoal. I already knew since then that it was going to be necessary to use charcoal on the skin as well, or the entire piece would look unbalanced, because charcoal achieved dark tones graphite is not able to achieve. One of my goals since the beginning was to create a strong contrast and make the figure leap off the paper. Then I used graphite for the lighter areas and charcoal for the darker ones. I know I could use charcoal for the lighter areas as well. However, I'm more experienced with graphite, so I chose to use it. Remember guys, there are no rules. When it comes to art, each artist has their own process and I'm not going to give you any rule you have to follow. I'm just showing you my process and eventually I will apply this technique in other portraits. In fact, I'm always experimenting new possibilities. So starting from the left side, I'm doing the lighter area of the forehead using graphite. First, I do a base layer using an intermediate grade pencil. Then I blend it with tissue. As soon as I achieve the value I want, I do the blemishes. As this drawing is quite dark, I already used a 4B Stadler pencil for the blemishes. Then I patiently added smaller blemishes using harder pencils. This step is very laborious. My goal was to draw all the details I observed. Later, it is necessary to smooth out these blemishes by using blending tools like blending stumps, brushes and tissue. But before that, I used a lot the Tombow stick eraser for the highlights. Even though it looks like I did everything at once, the truth is that I came back to fix many things later. Well, this is basically the shading graphite technique I'm used to apply on my drawings. Most of my drawings were done by following these steps. If you want to know in depth how I use graphite to create realistic portraits, how I draw face features, hair, water effects or fabric, you can learn all the process from my recorded classes. In my classes I teach how to prepare the initial sketch, how to shade, how to create skin texture, effects, Everything showing all the materials needed and how to use them. At the moment, all my classes are available on Skillshare and the link is on the description below. Now, let's move on to the charcoal part. As I said, this is the technique I'm not used to apply. However, I was very curious about how to use this medium because it can reach very dark tones graphite is not able to. However, charcoal is very tricky, quite messy, and this is what makes it so challenging to handle. The process, though, doesn't change much. 
I start by creating the first layer, trying to render volume by varying the tones. As charcoal is much easier to blend, I used brushes and cotton to blend it out. With cotton buds, I applied charcoal on more concentrated areas where it is darker. As soon as I render the general values similar to the values on the left, but darker, I drew my attention to the details. I did the highlights using pencil eraser and stick eraser. The fact is that charcoal comes off the paper quite easily, so doing the highlights on charcoal is easier than on graphite. Then I focused on the texture itself. For the smaller details, I used graphite pencil and compressed charcoal. Many and varied are the compressed charcoal pencils available to buy, and I haven't made up my mind about which options are the best. If you wanna draw with them, I recommend you test some of these pencils before and find out which you like more. Some of these pencils can give you the darkest tones achievable with charcoal, whereas others are better for lighter values. Some pencils I tried are Startled Black, which actually is charcoal mixed with graphite and clay, as far as I know, Faber-Castell Pete Oil Base and Conte à Paris Pierre Renoir. I hope the pronunciation is correct. It is important to know that in areas done with a base layer in graphite, you cannot use charcoal later because the graphite won't let the charcoal grip onto the surface. On the other hand, you can use graphite over charcoal. So just use graphite if you are sure you won't use charcoal later on a specific area. Summing up, I used only graphite on the left side of the forehead, left cheek, nose and lighter areas of the eyes. All the rest were done with charcoal. And what about you? Do you use some of the materials mentioned in this video? Do you prefer to use charcoal or graphite? Or do you happen to use both just like me? Tell me in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video until the end and don't forget to give it a thumbs up. See you in the next video.